This weekend we had the chance to speak to the Rockstar Energy Hasfana factory racing team to see what they had to say about the season so far. The story uh, with Husqvarna started uh, in 2000 when I started with KTM in the factory and because I was world champion in 93 they started with me as team manager in the MX2 team factory Husqvarna. Our bike, what we use uh, now, it's actually a production bike for 2019 with a lot of changes. The riders were very satisfied, was happy with how the bike was handling, the power. It was uh, for us a good step in a good direction, for sure we did a lot of testing. But at this point, at this moment, uh, yeah, I think everything looks very promising. Thomas, just tell us what's the feeling in the team and with your teammate? Me and TKO, we get along really well. Um, do some training together and you know, give each other a hard time between the motos, so it's really good. And um, also with all the mechanics and everyone, even when we have a, a bad weekend or a bad race, they're there to build me back up. They're not negative on me, so um, it's really good to have a team like that behind you just building you up all the time. Thomas Covington, he was winning the GP. I think he can, the next half of the season, he can do better. For Thomas Covington, I think in the moment, you know, coming from a knee injury in the winter, it's different from, from person to person how you react to injuries and how fast you can get back. But you know, you cannot rewind time, so right now it's just to try and make that difficult period as short as possible. And, and he's working hard and he's doing everything he can, and hopefully he'll be back where he belongs really soon. Last year at the Nations, you were on a 450. Are you looking forward to, to moving up? I love the 450, I always have. Uh, I raced on it quite a bit when I was amateur back in the States and um, I think that's one reason they put me on the 450 here and I feel like my riding style really suits it, you know. Um, I'm more of a relaxed rider, not really, <laughs> doesn't look like I'm pushing too hard most of the time but uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to riding the 450 one day. Thomas Covington's positives is definitely his raw speed and you know also things that he can pull out of the head, you know, uh, last lap charges and you don't see that a lot in this sport, you know, to come like really, really pass on the last lap or the last corner. Thomas uh, Carlson, he came from the European. I saw that uh, there was a lot of potential possible and that's why we signed him for the year after. TKO's positives will be his focus, his, uh, his mental strength, his weak points, I would say. Also his focus sometimes, because you can also be too focused and sometimes you need to, in a way, to think about other stuff to keep your batteries charged and to keep you fresh and things like that. Would you say you're a more hard pack rider or more of a sand rider? To be honest, I'm not quite sure. I like both. Uh, they're really technical, both of them, and ease their, ease their way. And uh, maybe I excel a little bit more in the sand and I can use my height a little bit more. Now, you won in Latvia last year. You repeated your performance this year. What is it about that track, do you think, that suits you so much? Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's just a great fun track. I really like how it is there and how the dirt is, just the whole layout. And uh, yeah, it's just something that suits me well. I can't explain what it is that made me do the same exact result two years in a row, but yeah, I don't complain about it. <laughs>